The Federal Reserve are expected to hike rates by 75 basis points tomorrow, and short-term interest rate markets see a 75% plus chance of a 100 basis point hike. So the strength this year in the US dollar has been one of the key reasons, as you can see on this chart, for gold's recent falls. And tomorrow, the Federal Reserve could actually end up sending the US dollar lower if they start to stress growth concerns over and above inflation worries. If this happened, then gold put in a, could put in a strong recovery from this support area around 1700. Now, it's particularly noteworthy to see gold's strong seasonal pattern at the moment, which is just starting to really potentially pick up speed. Over the last 10 years, gold has gained eight times between July the 26th and August the 28th. Largest gain has been 9.15% in 2019. The largest loss was in 2018 with a minus 0.99% loss. Average return has been nearly 3% and the average gain has been nearly 4%. So will the Fed end up sending gold prices higher tomorrow if they do stress growth concerns over and above inflation worries. Major trade risks, all outlooks have risks and this is no exception. And if the Fed do continue to stress tackling inflation, even at the risk of stifling growth, then the US dollar could still strengthen further and that could continue to weigh on gold prices. Did you know that you can analyse these charts for yourself by going to seasonax.com and get a no strings attached three day free trial. Which currency pair, commodity, index or stock would you most like to investigate for a seasonal pattern? Remember, don't just trade it, but season exit.